Hi, I'm Lynn Richmond, and I'm here at Glenbrook High School. I'm the department head for Health PE and Driver's Ed. We wanted to make things relevant for students uh, in the classroom and in the gym and associate it with the Paralympics coming up and just uh, disabilities in general, uh, whether it be mental, physical, emotional. And we wanted to have the kids self-teach each other and then we wanted to, them to have a personal experience, both physical and in the classroom, so that they could um, learn and grow in this area. And that's kind of what we're starting here and what I'm really working on, we've done over the past few years, uh, obviously pre-COVID, is getting the students accustomed to what adaptive sports look like. So we actually have other stations in another gym um, for seated volleyball and badminton. Uh, we've also done goalball in the past. And then they also talk about different disabilities and adaptive sports, especially with the Paralympics uh, coming up here for the Winter Games. Integrating all that and then just, just educating people. It's, you know, you're in a school, we're gonna educate students but it breaks down social barriers to what adaptive sports look like. It also helps students grow up by changing their mindset of what disabilities look like. Yeah, they know me as their IT guy who fixes their laptops and they see me in a chair, but then they see me in a basketball chair and then they can't even move and they're like, holy crap, like he makes this look so easy and then they try and do it themselves and they're like, oh wow, he, like, this isn't as, quite as easy as it looks, so. I never knew the sport existed. And then I realized that maybe there was like a stigma that a lot of kids have that are able-bodied because they just don't know. You know, they've never been around someone in a wheelchair and they don't notice, oh hey, this place isn't accessible. And you don't really notice that until you've either been in a wheelchair or you know someone in a wheelchair or someone with a disability. Um, and then I was like, there's so much great literature out there that are written by disabled people that I could incorporate into my classroom. And you know what, like let's make it more interesting, let's add sports into the mix because that'll get the kids excited. And so this project was kind of born from that idea and uh, this is our second round of it. It's been pretty fun. I think it helps them so that they understand someone's perspective. So by putting them in a wheelchair, putting them in a game that they have to sit and not be able to move, it helps them understand what's happening outside of their individual selves. And I think that's a good thing. It's a win-win for education. It's a win-win for citizenship for compassion, for empathy, and the things that we're trying to teach children as they're moving out into the work world and as they graduate from high school. Getting them in the chair themselves changed their perspective on like how hard it really is, much less to actually add a disability into that. Like, I have no abdominal function, I have no leg function. So the things of them turning their chairs or being able to lean and shoot, obviously I just leaned a little bit here, but I'm using my seat back. So it changes the way that they're gonna view the sport as a whole and then the competition side of it. You get a lot more perspective being in the wheelchair than you do from someone just telling you like, hey, this is a lot more difficult than normal life. But when you're in the wheelchair, you have, you actually get to feel and see like their perspective. And as far as that, I think that really helps us like learn and grow as people to see that. It's really giving us like a really good perspective of what most people have to live with and like it's just giving us a tiny portion of what they have to live with but like it's really cool really. I think it's really cool to be able to bring this to the community obviously Glimmer's family um, growing up here going through the program and being able to bring that back is really cool. I love being able to do these community outreach programs because like I said earlier like it really educates students and um, we've even done stuff at the elementary level as well so that way from little kid age all the way up you're growing up with this whole idea of changing the ideas of what it really means to have a disability and what that can look like. I really appreciate Roanoke County and their ability to like really let teachers do fun projects like this because that's the stuff that kids are going to remember and they're going to talk about for you know the rest of their days. When they look back in the yearbook and they see pictures of this, they're going to say like, I remember that and wheelchair basketball was so cool. And it's also really helpful. Um, most disabilities don't take effect until I believe it's from age 18 to like 50. Um, so they might know someone who will end up with a disability and then they'll have this knowledge of, but wait, like you can still play sports, but wait, there's more out there for you and that's really important as well. I think this is a perfect authentic learning lesson um, and we're really focusing on that in Roanoke County, trying to be, uh, bring real life situations, bring in community and have examples so that kids can grow outside of just their computer, their cell phones, their technology, and also pair it with those things so that uh, they're interested and they want to possibly pursue 
a, just a different avenue of um, you know knowledge when it comes to Paralympics and when it comes to um, you know handicapped and disabled rules, laws, and facilities.